What is going on LEGO Investor? So today we're going to take a look at the Star Wars $25 sets or below. So there's only a few sets in this price range, but I'll give my thoughts and opinions on them. I'll give you which ones I think will be the winners, the losers, and which ones I really have faith in. So I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Please comment down below. It'll definitely help the channel, help the community. So let's dive into it. So if you're not familiar with LEGO investing and primarily Star Wars, Star Wars is the best set to invest in. By far, there are greater returns, there's more opportunities, and there's stronger demand in this theme than any other theme. Now, there are themes that have sets that just will do absolutely insane, far better than Star Wars, but generally, the demand is what drives up the price in this theme, and it's just extremely popular. So yeah, today we're looking at the $25 and below, and we've got, first up, Captain Rex, the Y-Wing Microfighter. So if you're not familiar with Captain Rex and the whole issue with the Microfighter being released, check out my other videos. I go on it in depth of how there was a big controversy, controversy with Lego and how they released this minifigure when it was in a other set, and they said it would be, ex be an exclusive, and supposedly they had to issue gift cards so check it out i really wish they didn't do captain rex in a micro fighter because captain rex has a history of doing very very good numbers individually when you do it in the micro fighter you're just diluting the market and kind of destroying rex's name and i think lego did that on purpose because they knew he was doing well and they just wanted to flood the market and i know a lot of you do not agree with this but Lego wants to take the market away from the secondary market. The individual sellers, investors, why do they do this kind of, kind of stuff? So they can sell their sets and minifigures instead of buyers going to a secondary market. That's business 101. So I strong I, I firmly believe on that, but you know, this set is pretty decent. Do I think it's going to do well? No, I think because of the price range, it's not going to do well at all. In today's environment, they're just producing way too many sets and what with a 12.99 set, it's just going to be probably the one of the most produced Star Wars sets ever. So I don't think there's going to be value in the Micro Fighter. I'm ultimately going to pass on it right now, but Let's say that this micro fighter, they just stop production in a month or two, then yeah, then I'm going to try and pick up as many as I can because there'll be less inventory, but that's not going to happen. We're probably going to see this out for like two years. Then we got ambush on the Mandalore battle pack. So I am just not a big fan of Mandalorian sets and just battle packs in general, just because I, I've got burned on the previous Mandalorian battle pack, which was really solid. But there's just too much inventory, not enough demand, and generally Mandalorian packs or, or sets just do not do well at all. So I'm passing on this, even at any price. So next up, we've got Clone Commander Cody in the Brickheads theme. So the Brickheads, I if you're new to my channel, I absolutely love Brickheads. Check out my videos on them. I, I think they're great investments. They have a history of doubling in price and they're growing in popularity. They're typically Lego store exclusive, so that means they're much harder to build inventories. And Lego investors can only get their hands on maybe like anywhere from one to 20. The really lucky ones that work near a Lego store or live near a Lego store are the ones that can build massive amounts of inventory. And I am truly jealous. So they're easy to ship. They're small. They're a great entry point of typically $9.99. And yeah, they'll double in price. They're Lego store exclusives most of the time. So I think Clone Commander Cody is going to do phenomenal anywhere from probably $30 to $40 with the potential of going up. Clone Commander Cody is loved in the Star Wars universe, so I wouldn't be surprised if it goes past $40. I love this set. The next up, we got the Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Vader. We've already had some Obi-Wan Kenobi sets and Darth Vader sets, so I'm definitely probably going to pass on this. I think, I'll, I think I might pick up maybe five when it goes on sale, which it will go on sale, but this one's been out for a while. There's not much talk about it. There's not much demand. So yeah, ideally, I'm probably going to pick up one to five, most likely one. I think if we're lucky, we'll get $30. There might be a chance it could sell for 40 in retirement, but I think since there's going to be so many I, I doubt it's gonna hit 40 then we got the 501st clone trooper battle pack again I do not like battle packs I love the 501st but there's just too much inventory of this set I don't think there's gonna be money in it and yeah I'm definitely passing on this I know a lot of you firmly believe in this set but the previous 501st set isn't really doing the best so I'm gonna pass on this one then we got the Luke Skywalker X-Wing mech 
You know, I honestly love the mechs. I I think because, you know, mechs aren't popular in the Star Wars universe, any theme. But I think because it's really unique being in the Star Wars lineup, I think there's some potential that the mechs could shock a lot of people. Now, I'm talking small gains. I, I wouldn't be surprised if maybe they hit $30 one day. I know a lot of people are talking about the clone trooper because, you know, people are army going to be army building mechs and there's potential there. So I really like this. The the Luke Skywalker one, eh, maybe. I'll probably pick up one just so I have it. I'll, I'm definitely going to go hard on the Boba Fett mech when they go on sale. And next up, we've got the Tusken Raider. I absolutely love the Tusken Raider. The Tusken Raider is flying under the radar. I think a lot of people are going to have are passing this one up and buying Clone Commander Cody, you know, Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Vader. I think they're avoiding this one, and I think this one's going to do anywhere from 30 to 40 or potentially more because if everyone passes this up, this means there's going to be less inventory and a win-win for LEGO investing. So I'm going to try and pick up as many as I can. I've got a few already, but I just, I need to get at least 20. Then we got the 300 and 32nd Ahsoka's Clone Trooper Battle Pack. Again, I'm not a big fan of battle packs. This one's been on sale forever, which indicates to me that it's not selling. I don't think there's going to be demand in retirement. And I think that just inventory is too much. And people really need to pay attention to the inventory levels. I think it's really starting to hurt LEGO. And eventually, I think they're going to have to start doing specific production numbers instead of just pro mass producing and flooding the market so i'm gonna pass on this then we got the mandalorian n1 starfighter microfighter again microfighters this one is just there's no demand i'm i'm really honestly i and many others are just tired of the mandalorian and baby yoda we've got baby yoda fatigue and supposedly they're making the movie which hopefully should be pretty good but it's disney so i wouldn't be surprised if it sucks but I'm passing on this. This came in at way too high of a price. This should be a $10 set. And yeah, there's nothing really. The ship doesn't do it for me. It's not unique. So I'm going to be passing this. We got Boba Fett's Starship Microfighter. Now, I like this set. I like Boba Fett. There's big money in Boba Fett. I think he is a great character to invest in. I'm picking mine up for $6.99 or less. I'm really hoping Black Friday we can pick them up for like $4. And maybe one day we might be able to sell them for $20. But that's a big if. And I, I think there's just too much inventory to where there's a huge potential we might not earn any money. But either way, I might be able to include these in sets that are I'm selling that are very expensive to use it as an incentive to compete against other people selling in my area. So as you're familiar, or maybe not familiar, I sell locally, I do not sell online. So I have to kind of do stuff like that. If I could pick up a microfighter for four bucks, include it with a $130 set, yeah, I'll do that. I'll take that small hit. If I can move a set, compared to my competitors yeah i will do that and then we got the Tro stormtrooper mech i call him the clone trooper but the stormtrooper a lot of people are army building this and i think there is money but i need the i need this mech and any other star wars mech to be ten dollars or less and i think we will hit that price hopefully we'll be able to sell them for 25 to 30 small small profits here but a lot of people have faith in this mech now for me i think the money is in boba fett I love that they did this mech and anything Boba Fett. Again, Boba Fett has a strong following. He has a great history for investing. I really like it. It's unique. I definitely think this can double in price. So I'm waiting for this one to go on sale. 10 bucks, but I, I have faith in that. And then we got some Darth Vader keychains, Luke Skywalker keychain. And then we got the Darth Vader mech. I think out of the three mechs, I think Darth Vader, this one, is probably going to do the worst. I probably won't invest in this one. I'm probably just going to focus on the Stormtrooper and Boba Fett. But this could end up being like Star Wars helmets where you need to collect them all and eventually people are going to want to have all of them. So maybe I might change my ways and I would love to hear your opinions on that. Do you think I should pick up a few of each or just maybe just buy one of this one and then go hard on Boba Fett? Then we got the Ahsoka keychain. I think $5.99 for keychains are rip off. The Stormtrooper keychain. Then we got the Millennium Falcon. This one's been out of stock. It's not coming back in stock. Passing on that. And then let's see, do we have any other? We got the Grogu keychain. Again, ripoffs for the keychain i think they're way overpriced we got yoda and then no real let's see we got the key light the mandalorian light you know that's cool but not there's no money in it and then the grogu key light so overall in my opinion the winners on on the 25 dollars or less are going to be probably clone commander cody 
and the Tuscan Raider. I think those two have the greatest potential to earn profits, and I think there's a greater pro chance to earn double or more money with those two compared to all the other. I think those might have a healthy of earning money in three years into retirement. Any others, I do think there is potential, but you're looking at probably five to 10 years, and it's just not worth it. I think you're putting money on the table for too long. You can invest money elsewhere. So those two, I'm definitely going hard on. Brickheads have a history of doing well, and I have, I have some success with Brickheads. So really quick, I want to take a look at how these two are doing on eBay right now. So we got Clone Commander Cody. So this one's doing less than $899, $949, $1750 there. Shocking, $1795, $1499, $1050, $1289, $1299. $1 so that's a really good sign that Clone Commander Cody is pulling in more money than if you could get from the Lego store which is mind-boggling that people are paying a premium because you could just order from Lego. And then we've got the Tuscan Raider, which is item number 40615. This one's $16.95, $8.99, less than $16, $16, $4.99, plus $5.99 shipping, $5.50, $12.29, Germany, $16.95, $8.50. So a little bit less than retail, but sometimes a little bit above. Again, a great sign. But I think since we see with Clone Commander Cody doing above retail quite a bit. That that tells me there's more demand. And Clone Commander Cody stands out com compared to the Tuscan Raider. And that's why I think the Tuscan Raider is, is kind of flying under the radar. So I would love to hear your opinions on these sets. Are there any, you know, do you disagree with me? Do you think that Captain Rex Microfighter might do insane? I, I want to hear that. We we definitely as a community want to hear your, your thoughts and opinions on investing. That's why I make these videos to help other investors, to see other people's opinions. So I appreciate you if you watch the whole video. Shout out to everyone that likes and comments. You're really, really supporting the channel, and I do notice it, and I appreciate it. But as, but as always, please do your own research, have some fun, make some money. Video is not financial advice. Any statements made are my views and is for entertainment purposes only and should not be taken as financial advice. Do your own research before making any financial investments.